town called Isinia. It's about 58 kilometers outside of Kenya's capital, Nairobi. And as you can see, it's a very dry, semi-arid region. And it's extremely difficult to grow anything here. But with a bit of technology, anything is possible. When Moses Kuhl decided to try his hand at smallholder farming in Isinia three years ago, he struggled to make any profit. He started by using electricity to pump water from a borehole to his crops. But getting an adequate supply proved costly and inefficient. It has been a challenge because comparing the climatic region of this area, somehow dry. And in a year it only rains twice. So the, the, the April rains are normally short rains. So when you depend on it on farming, at other times you get frustrated because you plant but no harvest. He decided to research more cost-effective methods and came across the solar pumping technology run by a company called Sun Culture. He decided to give it a try a year ago and since then he's had one successful harvest with another on the way. I have water. I can manage on it as far as it is somehow little but I can schedule it. On each, on each block because the farm have divided in, in it into blocks. So I normally get my farm on the evening basis, around 30 to 40 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on the type of crop that I've planted. Installation of the entire system costs just under a thousand US dollars. And currently it saves Moses 200 or more dollars every month on electricity costs. Across Africa, several nations are moving aggressively to develop their solar and wind capacity. Research has shown that there is enough sunlight falling on the continent to power not only Africa and Europe, but the entire world. Maria Galang, CCTV, Isinya, Kenya.